Hi everyone, welcome to your mobility class. This is a general flow today, so we won't have any one particular focus. Um, we'll hit hips, shoulders, spine, neck, kind of touching upon everything. There will be a couple times throughout the class where we hold a static stretch, staying in the same position for a prolonged period of time. But for the most part, this is continuous, slow movement. There will be some parts that might be challenging, but overall I would say this is a very feel good class and my hope is that at the end of it, your body feels really good. Now you don't need any equipment. Um, we will spend a good amount of time kneeling and down on the mat though. So if you wanna grab a blanket um, or have a towel on hand for some extra padding for your knees, that is an option. Or when we get to certain parts, you can always just fold your mat over so you have a little extra padding under the knees. Real quick before we jump into class, I just want you to take a second to watch the screen and look at this uh, combo that we're going to do because it's a little funky and I just want you to have a visual of it in your mind before we get to it um, but rest assured when we do get there in class we'll go through it really slowly I'll verbally guide you through it so it won't feel as complicated as it looks but just thought it would be helpful to get a little visual here Okay, and now let's get to it. We're gonna start in a kneeling position if this is comfortable for you. If it's not, you could come to seated or you could always elevate your hips on a yoga block. And I want you to close your eyes, hands on your thighs, and let's just start with a couple deep breaths. Now we're gonna breathe intentionally and we're gonna focus on expanding through the diaphragm. So as you inhale through the nose, I want you to picture your rib cage expanding three-dimensionally. And as you exhale out through the mouth, slowly like you're blowing out a birthday candle, Ribs move gently in and down, gentle bracing through that abdominal wall. Inhale through the nose, expand through the rib cage. Don't let the breath get caught in your shoulders. They shouldn't be hiking up to your ears. Exhale out through the mouth. Twice more. And then opening your eyes, let's just invite some movement into the neck. So I want your right ear to dip down towards the right shoulder. And then roll your head forward, chin towards your chest, around and over to the left. So left ear towards left shoulder. And then just reverse that chin towards chest, roll it forward. If you wanna make the complete circle and go back as well, that is okay but only if it feels okay for your neck. I know it doesn't feel great for mine, so I'm just rolling forward. One more time each side. And then I want you to bring that head up to neutral. Now arms are gonna reach out to the side fingertips lightly on the mat, and we're just gonna come into a fluid side bend. So up and over, and then take it to the other side. If this seated position is starting to get uncomfortable, know that we are gonna change it up, coming right up. Let's go one more either side. Just getting things moving here. And then come up tall. From here, I want you to separate your knees even wider. I'm gonna to turn to the side to give you a better view. And I want you to start by coming into a tabletop. And then from here, I want you to shift your hips back so that they're hovering over your heels. So we're not collapsing down onto the heels and we're not rounding through the spine. I want you to think neutral spine, just send the hips back. And then we're gonna walk the hands forward. So it's kind of like we're moving towards a child's pose, but this is a very active pose. We're not collapsing down. We're staying open through the chest. Now I want you to keep your right hand planted where it is, and we're gonna thread the needle with the left arm. So your left arm is going to thread under the right. As it does, I want you to press that cheek down towards the mat. And then as you come through center, we're gonna now take that left arm and I want you to slide it, extend it out towards the left so your arms are making an L-shaped nose to the mat. Come up a few inches, thread the needle, adding in that twist, and then out in that L shape, nose towards the mat. Keep that going twice more this side. Thread the needle, out wide, and then bring that left hand up to start. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but the right arm will move. 
So take your right arm. I want you to thread it under the left, inviting in that twist through the spine, cheek to the mat. Come through center, staying pretty low and long through the spine, and then reach that arm out in an L shape, nose to the mat, no twist. Thread the needle. And open through the chest. Twice more. Last time. And then I want you to bring it up to a tabletop. So if the knees are wide, bring them back so that knees are stacked under the hips, hands under shoulders. And from here, we're gonna take it into hip circles. I'm actually gonna to turn to face forward. So you're going to mirror me. We're gonna start on our right leg and we're just gonna trace hip circles. So we open up through that right knee, circle it back and around and lower it down. Doesn't matter the direction because we will switch it. So we are starting a long series that is just gonna be kind of on the same side the whole time. Switch direction of the hip circles. One more. And then we're gonna come into a little combo. It's gonna be a hydrant to a leg extension. So from here to start on an exhale, you're gonna lift that right knee up and out to the right. You're gonna kick that leg straight and then you're gonna lower it, planting the foot down on the mat. Now on an exhale, you're gonna lift that leg up. It's gonna to be tough. Bend the knee and lower your hydrant. Keep that going. This one is slow and controlled. So really break it into its individual parts. Lift, bend, lower. Hydrant, straighten, plant. Now you're doing your best not to shift all of your weight over to the left as you do this. If you need to walk your hands slightly over to the left, that's fine. But for the most part, that left hip is staying fairly stacked over the left knee. Now this time we're gonna hold with that leg straight on the mat. So extend it out, plant that foot down and hold right toes point forward. And I want you to start rocking your hips back and forward. One more. And then I want you to come through tabletop shoulders over wrists. And now I just want you to find external ro rotation through this right leg. So now your toes point up towards the ceiling and give me that same rock back and forward. Just a different rotation in that right hip joint. One more. Flatten that foot, toes point forward. And I want you to come up into a mermaid position. So we still have that right leg long, left knee down. Make sure your hips are squared so you might need to adjust this leg accordingly so both hip bones point forward. We're gonna start with a side bend over to the right. Your left arm sweeps up and over. And now, as we switch the side bend over to the left, your left fingertips are going to come all the way down to the mat, and we're gonna sweep this top arm overhead. On an exhale, you're gonna lift yourself back up, side bend over to the right, keep that going. Oh, my obliques are a little sore from a couple classes I filmed this week, so this one feels so good right now. Now we're gonna add on to this, turning this into a combo. So next time your left fingertips plant down on the mat, I want you to pause. Now you're going to lift this right leg up to a hover and you're gonna bend the knee in, bringing that top hand to tap the knee. Extend the limbs back out long, foot plants on the mat, come up right, side bend over. Keep going through that. And you can make it fluid so that the foot plants as you come up and that the leg lifts as you tilt over to the side. One more like this.
and this time your left hand is going to plant all the way down on the mat and I want you to hold top right arm reaches towards the ceiling. So we're going to come into that funky plank combo that I showed at the start of this video. We're going to walk through it real slow to start. All right. On an exhale, I want you to twist your chest down towards the mat as you do this right hand plants on the mat. So your upper body is in a centered plank. Now on an exhale, I want you to take your left foot and I want you to step it back staggered behind the right. So your lower body is kind of in a side plank. Your upper body is in a center plank. Now we are going to take our front right foot and you are going to step it forward. So bend the knee walk it forward about halfway up the mat. So it's like a little kickstand. Now you're going to take your right arm and we're going to twist back up open to the ceiling. Now we're just going to reverse that. Twist the chest towards the mat, hand plants. Right foot steps back. You're in this twisted plank. Now your left knee is going to pull forward and drop down. And we're going to twist it open into our starting position. Twist to the mat. Left foot steps long, right foot steps forward. Keep the hips lifted, twist it open, reverse it. Left knee draws in, torso opens up. One more time, square off through the chest. Left leg goes long, right foot steps forward, twist it open. Reverse it. So we have half a rep to finish, okay? I want you to twist your chest to the mat. You're gonna step that left leg back. You're gonna step your right foot forward. You're gonna twist open into this staggered side plank and now pause. We're gonna dip the hips. So as you dip your hips towards the mat, this top arm reaches towards the wall at your feet. You're gonna exhale. Lift the hips up, reach that arm overhead. Just three more times, you got it. Don't sink into this bottom shoulder. Easier said than done, I know. One more time. And then from here, I want you to take your right hand down to the mat. You're gonna pivot your hips and you're gonna walk this right foot forward so that you are now in a runner's lunge. Drop your left knee down, come upright through the torso, keeping your back toes tucked. Now I want you to take your forearms, stack one on top of the other. So kind of think uh, like I dream of genie position here. Open through the chest. And we're gonna add in a little bit of a stability challenge. So we're gonna come up to stand and as we do, we're gonna bring our back left knee drive it up to hip height. So we're gonna stand on that right side, lift the left knee up to about hip height. Now we're gonna roll open through the pelvis. I want your right quad to still point forward. I want you to hinge open through the pelvis and I'm showing you a front view on the screen because that's probably more helpful. Now we're gonna square the pelvis back off, both hip bones pointing forward. And then I want you to bend into the knees as you come back down into that lunge position, knee on the mat. So exhale. Connect to your abdominals for balance. Whoop. Drive the knee up. Open up through the pelvis. Square it off. And then step it back into that lunge. Twice more. Woo. Last time. This time square off the hips and then just step that left foot down to meet the right. We're gonna come into just a little bit of standing centering work before we do that whole thing on the other side. So I want you to start, we're gonna focus on the shoulders here. Neutral through the pelvis, unlock through your knees, hands behind your head, elbows wide, but you can see them in your peripheral vision. So we're gonna do a little shoulder move here and I'm actually gonna face the other way so that you can see it. So to start, I just want you to straighten out those arms. Palms face forward, arms up in a wide Y shape. Now you're gonna to start to sweep the arms down by your side. And as you do, you're going to flip the palms. Then you're gonna bend the elbows, bringing the hands behind your back, kind of to the small of the back, or maybe to mid back, maybe just your butt, depending on the mobility. Stay open through the chest as you do this. And now just reverse it. Straighten the arms, flip the palms as you sweep the arms up, bend at the elbows. So keep going through that. Now your challenge here is to not 
puff open through your rib cage. So you need to maintain neutral, connect to your core. And that might mean that your arms kind of sweep more in front of your body than out to the sides. That is okay. One more rep. And meet me with hands behind your head. From here, we're gonna find a little spinal extension. So I want you to really open up through the elbows. And as you do, open through the chest. You can allow the rib cage to open. Gaze shifts slightly up. You're supporting your head in your hands. Now, as you exhale, we're gonna find flexion. So start to close the elbows in towards each other as you round forward. Stay pretty neutral through the pelvis though. It's really just mid spine and upper spine. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, flex. So kind of like a cat-cow variation. Twice more. And this time, as you start to fold, I want you to take it vertebrae by vertebrae all the way down to the mat. Release your hands, fingertips in front of you. Let's take it into an inchworm. So keeping your legs as straight as possible, I want you to walk your hands out to a plank position and then pike the hips up, walk your hands back in towards your feet. If you're tight through the hamstrings, then you can always add a bend to your knees. It should be four-ish walks with the hands to go in and out. And this time when you walk out to your plank, I want you to pause, drop the knees down into your tabletop, and we're ready to start that whole series from the top. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. We're gonna start with hip circles. We'll take it over to the left. So we open up through that left side, circle it back and around. It doesn't really matter the direction because we will switch. So you know what to expect. We're basically just going through that whole sequence, a little bit of centering stuff, and then you're done. Switch direction. Now up next, we're gonna come into that hydrant with that straightening of the leg. And again, we're gonna to try to keep this right hip stacked over the right knee as we do it. Okay, so let's go into that hydrant now. So the left knee opens up to the left. You straighten that leg out and then you lower it to plant on the mat. I just need a little more space. On an exhale, lift it off the mat. Doesn't have to be very high. Bend the knee, lower it down to start. And if it helps, you can always walk your hands an inch or two over to the right. Try to pause for a second when that leg is hovering, just so that you are in control of the movement, not gravity. Last full rep. And this time, when you plant that leg straight, plant the foot all the way down. And I just want you to rock your hips back and forward. Nice opening through the groin area here. One more. And then coming through center, let's switch the rotation of this extended left leg. So you're going to rotate within that hip joint. So now your toes point up towards the ceiling and we rock it back and forward. Think of reaching your tailbone back as you shift back one more time. Coming through center, foot plants back on the mat, toes pointing forward. And we're gonna come up into our mermaid position. Make sure your hip bones are both pointing forward so you might need to walk this left foot leg forward a little bit. And we're gonna start with our side bend. So we'll start by side bending over to the left and as we do the right arm sweeps up and overhead. And then as you switch it and sweep over to the right, your right fingertips are gonna come to the mat. Keep that going. Right fingertips to the mat, left arm reaches overhead, length through the side body. And 
Now we're gonna add on to it. So next time you come down, I want you to pause. You're going to lift that left leg off of the mat and you're gonna bend the knee in as you bring your top left hand to tap it. Extend it out long and then come back up, side bend. Last full rep. And this time when we tilt over, this right hand is going to plant all the way down to the floor. And I want you to take your top left arm and reach it up towards the ceiling. So we're gonna come into that side plank combo. Let me just slide down. And again, we're gonna go through the first time really slow. On an exhale, you're gonna twist your chest towards the mat. As you do, this left hand comes down to plant. You're going to take this bottom right leg. You're gonna extend it long. It staggers behind the left. Now your left knee is going to bend and you're gonna step the foot forward, toes point to the long edge of your mat. And then we're gonna twist it open, left arm up towards the ceiling. Let's reverse it. Twist your chest to the mat, both hands plant. Left leg steps back long. Now right knee bends, right knee to the mat and we twist open into our starting position, this kind of side tabletop. Exhale, twist. Right leg steps back, left foot steps forward. We twist it open, keeping the hips lifted, so you should feel a nice outer hip stretch when you do that. Reverse it. Right knee down, twist open. Twice more. Two more full reps, I should say. Reverse it, hands to the mat. Again, both hands plant, right leg long, left foot forward, torso twists open. Reverse it. Both legs long, right knee down, open up. Okay, this time when we get to that kind of staggered side plank, left foot steps forward, plants down. We open up through that torso, hold. We're gonna lower the hips. As the hips lower down towards the mat, this top arm reaches towards the wall by your feet. As you exhale, almost think of making a rainbow shape through the side body, lift those hips, arms sweep overhead. Twice more. Last time. And then I want you to take your left hand down to the mat. You're gonna pivot your hips, squaring them off. You're gonna walk that left foot forward a little bit. Right knee bends and comes down. Keep your back toes tucked. We lift up and we're gonna come into that kind of lunge standing sequence. So let's stack our forearms one on top of the other. Open through the chest. On an exhale, we're going to stand up and this back right knee is gonna lift up to hip height. Now stabilizing through that left side, we're gonna open up through the pelvis. So the left thigh stays pointing forward, hinge it back, both hip bones point forward, and then bend into your knees, lowering back down into that lunge. Take your time through this, rotate open. So everything is rotating open except for this left leg, which is staying in that same forward facing position. Last time here, and we'll stay standing. Right knee lifts, pivot open through the pelvis, rotate it closed, and then just step that right foot down with the left. All right, to finish up, we're gonna do a little bit of a release for the cervical spine, but first I want us to start with that extension flexion that we did um, earlier. So hands behind your head, elbows wide, and on an inhale, you're going to open up 
Gaze towards the ceiling, elbows go even wider. You can really open up through the chest. And as you exhale, we're gonna flex through the spine. So we nod the chin, staying pretty upright through the lower spine. It's really just the mid and upper spine that are flexing and extending again. One more. Inhale, extension. As you exhale this time, we're gonna come all the way into a forward fold. Now you might wanna separate your feet a little wider. You can unlock through the knees. And I want you to interlace your fingers at the base of your skull and let those arms hang heavy. So the weight of our arms is gonna give us a little bit of traction through the neck, the cervical spine area. I want you to just stay in this forward fold position and breathe for me. With every inhale, you're thinking of expanding through that mid back area. And with every exhale, think of adding in a little release. <sighs> really focus on that inhale. Direct your inhale into this upper mid-back area. If it is too intense having your fingertips interlace at the base of your neck, you could always take a rag doll position and do opposite hand to opposite elbow instead. Two more big breaths. Last exhale. And then I want you to release the hands and let them hang. So we did a bit in tabletop and plank, so I just wanna get a counter stretch for our wrists to finish. So I want you to walk your hands under your feet so that your feet are stepping on your palms with your toes kind of in the crease of your wrists. Bend the knees generously here so that you can get into the position. And just hold. If it doesn't gross you out, it does feel good to kind of massage the base of your palm with your toes. And then I like to pull up just a little bit as if I'm trying to straighten the legs just to get a deeper stretch. I want you to really relax through the neck. Just let that head hang. Relax your jaw. One more big breath. And one at a time, remove your hands from under your feet. And it's so slowly, I want you to roll up to stand, vertebrae by vertebrae, stacking the spine up tall. Let's finish with one deep breath together. Inhale, arms are going to sweep up overhead. And exhale, let it go. And that is your class. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new workouts here for free on YouTube every Monday, sometimes more frequently. And I also share additional classes for Patreon members. If you become a Patreon member, you also get access to a monthly workout calendar. That is great if you want a little structure in planning out your workouts week to week. I'm so appreciative of your support, whether it is on Patreon or just showing me some love on YouTube, and I'll see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.